Peshus to Rosh Hashiva on behalf of Rabbi Yitzchak Katz and all the organizers, I'd like to welcome everyone to the annual Lel Hisoyrus to benefit the Kailal Lateras Chai Rezel. This Kailal has in it the Mechanchim Kailal that learns here in Yeshiva in the afternoon. In addition, it helps many Yechidim in the community, Tamidah Chachamim, to be able to devote serious Siddharim to learning in the base Madrash in the morning and in the afternoon and at night. The yeshiva benefits from the presence of these Tamid HaChachamim who are learning here. The other Kailalim in the community benefit and it adds a tangible Ruach HaTayra to this very special Kehillah. Whatever anyone has given or will give in Mitzvah Shem to help support the Kailal HaTeres Chaya Rezel will surely be a great schus for you and for your mishpachas, for bracha and atzlacha. The Torah is called the Eitz Chaimi Amachazikim Ba. People who support people who are learning have that Eitz Chaim. They have, they have a bracha, a guarantee that they're going to be zoicha to life. We all should be zoicha through supporting Torah to the chasima on this Yom Kippur, the chasima of life. Chaim Shal Toiva, Chaim Shal Bracha, Chaim Shal Parnosa. Chaim Sheyamale Hashem Kol Meshalis Libeinu Letoiva. This year we have the schus to have the Shiva of the Masifta of Long Beach, Rabbi Mordechai Ressler, speak for us and give us chizuk. My personal admiration for Rabbi Ressler goes back to before my bar mitzvah. We davened in the same, in the same shul in Kew Gardens in Queens, Rabbi Teitelbaum Shul, and me being a young boy. Rabbi Ressler was from the older, respected Bachrim, and as we know from every minion, the younger children look up to the older Bachrim as role models, and to watch him and his mishpacha, his brothers, Rabbi Naftali, Rabbi Yisrael, davening next to their father, and davening with such Ernstkeit, that made a tangible impression on me and other, other boys in Kew Gardens that lasts until today. Rabbi Ressler, as a Bachr, went to learn in Long Beach, and the Hanhala was smart enough to realize that they want to keep him in the yeshiva, and he became the ninth grade Rebbe and the Menahel. And many of our local boys have learned under Rabbi Resper in Long Beach, including my own Bukhar Yaakov Yisrael. And everybody knows that when you become a Talmud of Rabbi Resper, you transformed overnight from a little eighth grader who's embarking on his Masifta life to become a Ben Aliyah, a Ben Taira, a Balmidois, because the Rebbe teaches not just from the words that he uses, but the example that people could see in his Anhaga. And Rabbi Rebbe has the motto that we're very familiar here, with here in the Beis Madrash of Waterbury, which is, once a Rebbe, always a Rebbe. If someone was in the Shir, even for a little bit, Rabbi Rebbe keeps up with them and they keep up with him, He's one of the busiest people that I know, and I know this firsthand because I've tried to get a hold of him many times. But he's always helping, always keeping a shaykhus to Talmidim, that we would call former Talmidim, but their present Talmidim even many years after they leave the yeshiva. I want to thank him for taking time out of that very busy schedule in that series to make tshuva, to join us. It's a great cover to introduce your Mordechai Reza. I have a very, very warm words of introduction. Beshus Yeshiva, the Amun of the Yeshiva, the Rebbeim, the Menalim, the Chol Akol Hakadosh Hazeh. The emphasis is a. Maridikas Chus that I have to be here tonight in such a mokim, in such a mokim teira, and I'm going to explain that in Mitzvah Hashem. We're going to come back to that at the end. You'll understand what I'm saying. And by say we went through a chodesh el, a 
Chatzchel says over that a bitzilo in the beginning of Chodesh Elo would open up the Aron Chodesh and he would cry Bechiyas thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu giving Shrach Vaido to the Rebbeinu Shalolo that the Ebeshti gave him Matana of Elo. What's the Matana of Elo? We all know the Ben says from the greatest tovus that Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave Klal Yisrael was that he gave Klal Yisrael a way out. He gave Klal Yisrael a mahalach of tshuva. The Mesir Zeshon writes that be'etzem, when a person does a chet, zok the Mesir Zeshon ki be'hine be'emes. Ech yisakin ha'odom esa she'ives v'achet kvar nasa. You did the chet already. How could you be masakin it? Harei shirot zach ha'odom es chaveiroi. Echmon l'tzan, someone that kills a friend. Ech yuchal l'sakin ha'dov ha'zeh. Hayuchal l'hosa ha'maisa ha'osim and ha'metzias. Could you bring it back? You did it. Oh, but the Ebishter goes ahead and he gives us a way out. The Medrash in Yalkut says that Chochma didn't have a Mahalach, and Nevoa didn't have a Mahalach, and Toya didn't have a Mahalach. The Eivishter is the only one that was able to, to tell us that there's a Mahalach of Tshuva. And this is a Tshuva of a whole year. And as Abin Yenis says, Chas Vashon, a person that delays from doing Tshuva, and this is the whole year that we're talking about. He's a Moshe Lekatsha Listim. And Moshe, you have a band of robbers that are locked up in a prison. And they dig an escape route to go out, Dr. Ben Yoyim. And everybody runs out except for one. He's left there in the prison. And the officer comes in and sees this person left the prisoner there. And he says, what are you doing here? Are you a Kshayorif? And he gives him pet, you had a way out, you had an escape route. So Dr. Ben Yoyim, that is the marshal for someone that delays from doing tshuva, and this is the tshuva of a whole year. Elu is a zman that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has mekarved himself to Klal so in a special way, a special kirvo, as the Chazal tell us, Ani l'doidi v'doidi li, is Rosh Tevis Elu, Saif Tevis is Mem Yoyim, those are the 40 days from Elu to left here in Kippur. El was a man that the Chazal called Yemei Rotsen. The Yemei Rotsen, as Rashi says, just as the Luchos Rishonis were Berotsen, Luchos Achonis were Berotsen, El was a man of Yemei Rotsen that the Ebeshter has been carved himself to Klal Yisrael in a whole different way. He was like to go through an El man. We had a Rosh Hashanah, we had a Yom Adin. But Rabbi Yisrael, we're holding now by Aseris Yimei Tshuva. Aseris Yimei Tshuva, the Rambam says, the Loshon of the Rambam is, Afal Pi, Sha'at Tshuva V'atza'oka Yofa Lo'olam, V'aseris Hayomim Sh'bein Rosh Hashanah V'yem HaKippurim, Hiyofa B'yoyse, Umiyad he miskabelis. Shenema, dear Shah Hashem be motse kiru be yose koriv. In Aseris he made tshuva. The tshuva is miskabelis miyad zot zot tiramu. If Chaydeshel was the Yemei Rotzen, Chaydeshel, the Ebishter was Mikav himself, and we had a chilo doing tshuva. This Kolsh came now during Aseris he made tshuva. Where the Abishta is Makar himself even more. Miskabela si miyad. And the Rizal writes that every day of Aser Sime Chuva is Mukhovin is connected all the, the day of that year. That means today is Yom Rishon. You had the ability to be Masakin every Yom Rishon throughout the year by being Masakin this Yom Rishon that we have today. And tomorrow is Yom Shani and Yom Shlishi is Erev Yom Kippur. We have the ability of being Masakin everything that we did and every Yom Shani throughout the year we can be Masakin it tomorrow. 
And Chash Rishon, if we delay from doing that shuva, it's the Moshe of the Kasha list in Chash Rishon. The Rambam says, in Ilkhaz Tshuva, Mi she nimtza tzadik nechtam l'chayim, Mi she nimtza rosher nechtam l'misa, V'habeinani toinun loy ad yom ha-kippurim. Im osa tshuva nechtam l'chayim, V'im lav nechtam l'misa. A tzadik was nechtam l'chayim, A rosher achmon l'tzad nechtam l'misa. Habeinani, Es tuim v'oimdim. Zog te rambam im osa tshuva, Nechtam l'chayim. V'im lav nechtam l'misa. Sect effect the out of Kellum and many others asked to Shaila. That the Rabbim explains what does it mean a bainani? A bainani means that the schuyas and the avoinas are shkun, they're equal. A tzadik the schuyas are more than the avoinas, a rosh and the are more than the schuyas, and a bainani is equal. So why does the Rabbim say, Mosa tshuva is nechtam l'chayim? Let him say, Mosa mitzvahs, if you do more mitzvahs, then you're going to weigh, the scale is going to weigh out. Then you'll have more zchuyas than avoiners. Why does it have to be a moser tshuva nechtam l'chayim? So Abaran says, in the Mishnah Zabaran, a poshet the cheshben. He says that the mitzvahs that we do now are on the cheshben of the new year. We need to be misaking the, the, the previous year. The previous year, the zchuyas and the, and the avoiners were equal. How are you going to balance, how are you going to weigh the scale? So therefore you have to do tshuva to be masakin, the take away the previous chet in order that the scale of last year should be that the schuya should be more than the avoinus. That's a baron's cheshbun. But we saw Salanta writes, and he says that because the Eivishter gave us a way out, and because the Eivishter gave us a matana toiva of tshuva, if chas v'sholem, we don't do tshuva, then all the mitzvahs that we do will not weigh out the scale from the chet of not doing tshuva, Zot Tevisom. If also tshuva is nechtam l'chayim, because if you don't do the tshuva and mesak in the chet, then you could do all the mitzvahs that you want. It's not going to weigh out the scale of not doing tshuva for the chatoim. And that's where we're holding now by sight. In the matzav of Asesi Meit Shuvah, that we have the ability to go ahead and do and accomplish and be misakin what we need to be misakin. To go a little further, we're coming up to Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, Abay Sa'i. I want to read you the lotion of of Yisrael Salanta when he says when he gave Yom Kippur. Yom Kippurim zokte, dove toiv lo ma'oid. Yom slicha v'chapora, lo yehoyu yom toivim li Yisrael ki Yom Kippurim. Ein lonu dove toiv mimenu. So the Yom Kippur, there is nothing better than Yom Kippur. It's a yom tev shakulay toiv zok tev abisol salanta. As the Rambam says, Yem ha-kippurim huzman tshuva la-kerl liyochid ul-rabim v'hukeitz mechila u-slicha li-yisrol l'fikoch chayovim ha-kerl la-asas tshuva u-lesvadis b'yem ha-kippurim. The fikr of the Ram, we have a chiyu to do tshuva and be mezvad on Yom Kippur. I heard from my Rosh Hashiva that Saul, he said over from a baron, that a baron used to say, if we had one Yom Kippur in our lifetime, it would be the biggest matona shayach that the Ebishti gave us. One Yom Kippur in our lifetime. And the Ebishti goes ahead and gives us a Yom Kippur every single year. A Yom Kippur, which is a Zman, where the Eibishti is Mekayv in a whole different Eifin. 
Yom Kippur was the Yom that the Ebeshter came down, that Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai, and the Ebeshter said, Salachti and Yom Kippur, the Yom of Slicha, Mechila, V'chaporo. A Yom that if we had one, one Yom Kippur in our lifetime, it would be a Meridik and And we have it every single year. Rabbi Saul Salamta used to speak throughout Chodesh El every single day. And he spoke for an hour. And the topic of the shmuz for a whole Chodesh El every single day was Yom Kippur. He spoke about Yom Kippur every single day throughout Chodesh El. Rabbi said, what is Yom Kippur? What is it? A Yom Maslicha Mechila V'chaporah. A yom that the Eibishter goes ahead, Lafi Rebbe at least, the yom itself is a mechape. Uh, but we, we know that we pass and we have to do tshuva. Uh, but Zokta Alta from Kelim, he asked the following Shiloh. We say in Davening, Machisi Chaov Pisha'echa V'cha'onan Chateisecha Shuva Eli Kigal Ticha. Zokta Alta, it says, Machisi Chaov Pisha'echa. The Eibishter erases our chatoim like clouds. Then shuva elai kigal ticha. Then do then do tshuva. Should be fakeri to say shuva elai kigal ticha, and then lachisi chov pishaecha. After we do the tshuva, the Eved erases the chatoim. For he says we say ki vayim hazeh yechapa aleichem lefne. Yechapa aleichem l'tar eschem l'fnei Hashem to Toru. Ki vayoyim hazeh yechapa aleichem. The Ebesh there is mechapa. And then l'fnei Hashem to Toru. Be matar yourself. It should say l'fnei Hashem to Toru. And then, ki vayoyim hazeh yechapa aleichem. Zog the altar from Kelim. The Ebesh there gave us a neshama tahoyu. We're born with a neshama tahoyu. And even more than that, we're born with the neshama that the Eibishter instilled in the neshama, the nishma sa'odom. The teva of a person is to be maka kodesh baruch hu, as the Rebbe Yochanan says in in Parshas Chazoyin, Yeshayo and Avtoyo. We say the pasuk says Yoda Shor koineyu v'chamor evus evus ba'olov ami lo Yoda Yisrael lo Yisboinan. A shor knows its master. You, the Kali Yisrael didn't know the Rebbein Yisrael, how could that be? In fact, in fact, I've already done a piyan. A show knows its master because that's the teva of a person, of, of a show. The Amish to create the natural instinct of a, a behemoth is to know its master. But for us to be maka the Amish, that's not a natural instinct. That, that takes chokhmah, it takes das, it takes bina. What's the dimyan? Zogta alta, Zogta alta piyan. That right before the Posik says, Bonim Gidalti Viraimamti Vahim Poshubi. Bonim Gidalti Viraimamti Zokta Rabeli Apian. We are Bonim Lashem Alekechem. We're the Amish's children. Viraimamti. The Amish instilled within us a Remus Hanefesh that Be'etzem al Pidera Chateva. In the Teva de Gabriel, we'll mark our Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's our Teva, the same way that a Shor is marking its, its, its master. We are marking our Kodesh Baruch Hu Be'etzem. And that's the Neshama Torah that the Ebeshter gave us. But what happens is, when we are Choyte, the Chet is Metamtem, the Neshama of a person, the Neshama and the Lev of a man just becomes Timtum. It's Shmutzig and it becomes dirty, it becomes covered over. And we can't see anymore. We're not makke the way we should be makke in the normal sense. We don't have the asog of the Yibbanish the way we should have the asog of our Kaddish Baruch Hu. Because it's metamt in the Lev HaOdom. Comes the Yom Kippur. Zogta Alta from Kelem. Umol Hashem Aleikecha. The Eibishti goes ahead. And he removes the Timtum Alev. He takes away that Timtum Alev that we have. And the Mela makes it a matzah where we can do tshuva. 
makes it that we have our cover of the Rebbeinu more than any other time of the year. He takes away that Timtum Alev. Mochisi Cha'ov Pesha'echa means that the Eivishter removes the Timtum Alev that the Chet causes. Shuva Elai Ki Galticha. Now you can do the Tshuva. Ki Vayoy Mazei Yechapa Aleichem. The Eivishter goes ahead and removes that Timtum Alev. Lufnei Hashem Tetoru. That maton of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, removing the Timtum Alev, and that's why we experience on Yom Kippur, it's, I'm sure all of us experience, there's a different level of, of, of hergish, of feeling, of, of, there's something that, that we feel on Yom Kippur that we don't feel the rest of the year. And this is what it is. And while Hashem Alekecha, the Ebishta removes that Timtum Alev, and therefore we have the Hakara that we should have in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we're able to do the tshuva that has to be done. And that's Pshat in the Rambam, where the Rambam says, L'fikoch chayovin hakor. What's L'fikoch? Therefore we have a chiv. L'fikoch chayovin hakor l'as is tshuva. The L'fikoch is goho gufa. If the Ebishter goes ahead, for Kate's mechilo sicholi Yisrael, he goes ahead and he takes away that timtum alev, then it's L'fikoch chayovin. That marshal of the katsha listim, it's Kolshke, a Kolshke, a Kolshke. If we don't do the tshuva that has to be done when the Ebrish does Messiah us. And that's the Yom of Yom Kippur, Abay Sai. And as we say in Davening, Ma'ave Ash Meseinu B'chol Shona V'Shona, Ma'ave Ash Meseinu is that Loshon that the Ebrish goes ahead and helps us out. He's mavash mesein of a cholshon of a shona. Vatit and lono is yem akipur mazel and mechilo of a leslich of a chapor of a limchol by his kalav in the seinu. The Shiva used to say over from Zebiah Baron that we say in the Elo, Atanosin yad la poishim. And he would say that Abayim would go ahead and, and, and conjure up the, the tzir in the mind of the Abishta stretching out his hand. The Abishta stretching out his hand. Just grab on to it. Hold on. He's stretching out his hand to you. And that's what we mean by the Abishta being Messiah on the Yom of Yom Kippur. <coughs> I want to speak to Rabbi Yisrael a little bit in a practical sense. The avoid of tshuva is a meridic avoid, and that we all have to do, and I'm not taking that away. And tshuva is charot and azivesachet, and Ben Yenik goes through all the madrigas of tshuva, yoga, and tzabamaisa, and busha. It's, it's a ganze mahalik of tshuva that we need to do, and that has to be done. And the tshuva is is on, on, on Proteus Dikachatoyim that we did. And that's going to be our Avoida on Yom Kippur as well. But it has to be with the Achona. Can't, you can't just fall into Yom Kippur and think it's going to happen. We still have two days before that we could be making ourselves for the tshuva that has to be done. But we saw Salantin, when he talks about Yom Kippur, he says the following. Yom Kippur mechapi ma tshuva, good. But then he fears ois. Lira ois l'chol apochis shetiye eze kabola al habo b'yom Kippur. It should be a kabola to be mekabel, and that's something that I said in general. We make kabolas on ourselves on mekabel, then the Eibush to looks at us in a whole different light. He sees that we understand what's going on. He sees that we're ready to do something. I'm not taking away from the tshuva. But the Kabbalah is something that we need to be oimed on and think about what we, what we could be makabal on ourselves. And there's Kloliistic and Kabbalahs, there's Proteistic and Kabbalahs. But I want to speak about one topic here tonight that perhaps could be Mechazik the Indian. Last week's parsha, next week's parsha is Nitzavim. 
we have the famous parasha. Ki a mitzvah azoyis hashem noichi mitzavcha hayoyim loy nefleisi mimcho v'loy v'choykehi loy b'ashemayim v'loy mevel hayom ki koroi ve'lecha hadova ma'oid b'ficho b'lvovcha la'asoyisai. Rashi learns up that it's talking about the Torah itself. The Torah itself. Rashi says, "Ki korav elecha adovam moed ha Torah nosno lochem b'ksavu b'al pe." The Eimish that gave you the Torah. The shaila is, what's the grace of Chiddush? We 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 didn't know the Eimish that gave us the Torah. We got the Torah. I mean, I seen it. We received the Torah. You should know the Torah was given to you. I heard once from Rosh Hashiva Zatzal, wanted to say over Pshat, we have to realize that Torah is not Stama Chochma Ba'am. Torah is not a subject. Torah is not a science. Torah is a ruchni is the gemitzis of Meshachayim. Let's start in his Hadomah Derech Eitzchayim. Describes that Torah is meginze miroimim. Torah is a ruchni is the gemitzis, and the emes is that al piderach hateva. A person is a gashmi. The seichel ha'anushi is a, is a seichel agashmi. For the seichel ha'anushi to be able to understand the Torah, al piderach hateva is not shy. It's not possible. In order for us to be able to understand the Torah, we needed the parasha ki mitzvah azoy sashar noichi mitzavcha hayoyim zok de eibishter ki korei veilecha adova maoid. I gave you the Torah. I gave it within you. I planted it inside of you. I gave it to you, and that's why you'll be able to be master the Torah. Bidei chateva, you're right. I wouldn't be shyich. But the Eibishter gave it, and the Eibishter gave it to you. Call Yochid the Yochid, as we say, the Saint Chalkeinu B'Sarasecha. Every Yochid has a chelik in Torah, and that's the only reason why we're able to be mastered the Torah, because the Eibishter gave it, and that's the Chiddush Aparsha Kei Mitzvah Azoyis. A God that found after the, in Erevin, the Marsha says there in the Gemara. Mm. Thank you. Dafnun Hey, where the Masha says, Lay Bashamayim, he will aim at the Yomi over there, Doctor Masha. The fish of Odom, I ne adds my Minhatoyo, Vachochmo, Imip ne, I make a musig, I make a kutsa masig. A person tells himself he's not going to be able to understand the Torah either because the Torah is too tea for him or because he himself doesn't have enough chokhmu. The person comes to say no. That's what the person can carve. You're able to understand the Torah because the Abishta gave it to you. That's how Rashi learns up the parish. The Ramban learns the parish is going on the mitzvah of tshuva, which the previous parasha talks about, the shaft on Hashem and Likechos of the Ramban, ki mitzvah is going back on the mitzvah of tshuva, and the chiddush of parasha is the chiddush of tshuva, as we know, is the, from Minatayvus Hashem Hakadosh Baruch Hu of Zok the Ramban, and the Torah is telling us bechol eis of a chol mokim of a chol zman, the the Eimish is mekabel the tshuva no matter what, as the Ben Yehuda says. That he's makabel the tshuva even if a person does chatoim over and over and over again. He's makabel the tshuva even if we do the tshuva mitayich tsar, not because we have we have the rotsim, but because we're putting the matzah that the Eibushter forces us to do the tshuva. The Eibushter is makabel the tshuva b'chol eisav b'chol mokim, and that's tshuva of a whole year that Ramban is talking about. Kolshkein the kolshkein now, and I says he made tshuva on Yom Kippur. Oh, it was bothering me. That the chayyim it's the famous Gemara in Erevin. The Gemara in Erevin daf nun hey learns off the parsha only by Shemayim of Evel Ayom he. So the so the Gemara the answer Gemara here. She in by Shemayim he yata tzorach lava es acharehu. Vim Evel Ayom yata tzorach lava acharehu. What is it talking about? 
talking about Tayyu. The Gemara of Ferish and Avon says we're talking about Tayyu. So how could the Amban learn that it's going on the mitzvah of Tshuva? It's a very sick and my And I was thinking the following. In this week's, this past Shabbos, the Haftar of Shabbos Shuva, it starts out. What's Kuchu Imochem Dvorim? Poshet the Taiches, Kuchu Imochem Dvorim is referring to Vidui, Tariota. The Sefri learns up, Kuchu Imochem Dvorim is up to Sefri. The ain dvorim ella dive toyo, shenema, as a dvorim haela diva shem al kol kahalchem. Ain dvorim ella dive toyo. Kuchui mochem dvorim is dive toyo zok to sefri. The emiss is that there's a murder gal shech in the parasha of Memeriva by Moshe Abbein when Akadish Bokhu said, Vidi bartem ella sella, Vidi bartem ella sella zok to al shech. What did Abish to want? He wanted Moshe Aaron to talk Divrei Toyu. For the Baratim is a lotion from Divrei Toyu, because Toyu would have the ability to be Moitzi Mayim and Asela, Zabda Al Shech. For the Baratim is a lotion of Toyu. Zabda Kui Mochim Dvorim is referring to Divrei Toyu. And by Emma's, it's really a Medjush. In Pashas Tetzava, the Medjush says, are you day what? Not carbonus, are you day toy is up of the measures? Chaim Velozhina brings down in Shardal and Paraglam and Aleph. Zoktam Chaim Velozhina and Evishachayim. Ki ika ha tshuva shleima ha amita shehime ava, hu rap al yidei esek ha toyra karoi. The ika is I the Asa Katayu Karoi is up to Chaim Velozhna. And he brings down what we say in Davening every day. Hashiveinu o vinu l'sayu secho. Hashiveinu o vinu l'sayu secho. Then v'achazireinu b'shuva shleimu l'fanecho. Is Hashiveinu o vinu l'sayu secho? That's how we could be, we could accomplish the Avedis HaTshuva through the Asa Katayu. And he brings down the other Zoya of Ashtayt. Kisha, I'm reading Loshin that not exactly Lashon of the Zoya, but what Nev Shechaim says, Kisha Odom is Shrachik min ha-Toyo, hu rochik me ha-Kodesh Bochum. Hu mi shekorv la-Toyo, ha-Kodesh Bochum mekarv oise imoy. When you mekarv yourself to Toyo, the Ebesh does mekarv himself to you. It's vice to Chais, the Eisek ha-Toyo, is avoid the Satshuva. What's the pshat? What's the hezbah dov? The brother, the achi hagro, the brother of the goyin, brings down in his akdama to mindless hatoyu, and he says the following. He says, Rak 
It's impossible for us to be able to reach the Milo of Midatayva, Yira. In order for us to be able to do the tshuva, it has to be done. You can't do it without the Torah. The Torah is meraimim a person's octa. The Torah is meraimim us to a different level. Then it's possible for us to do the tshuva that has to be done. It's really a Gemara in Erevin. The Gemara says, The Gemara says, And I've got from it bays. So I'm going to pinch his benyore. Tayo may be the days of heroes. So heroes may be the days of reasons. Reasons may be the day of the keys. The keys may be the day of precious. Precious may be the day of Tahayo. Tahayo may be the day of Kedusha. Kedusha may be the day of Anova. Anova may be the day of Yira. And as I write, everything starts out Tayo. Tayo may be the days of heroes. And that's how it goes weiter. In order for us to be able to reach, to do the emissar of the Satshuva, it can only be a day the Eisek HaToyu. Let's look to Achi Agro. And perhaps maybe we could say a little bit more. It's Mashman and Nefesh HaChaim and Mavchaim Velozhina. When they speak about Chet, Chet is Merachik, a person from the Rebbeinu Shalolim. Tzricho Kakodesh Baruch Hu. Tshuva, Rebbeinu Yonah says this, says a Kaseda. Tshuva is being Mekai of yourself to Hakodesh Baruch Hu. And that's why in Rosh Hashanah, the avoider that we have is to be Kadesh Atam Lechuni Aleichem to be Mekabal on Malchus Shemayim, because that's the greatest the kiva that we could be Mekabal on ourselves. That's kiva to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. That's the tshuva of Rosh Hashanah. Tshuva is be Mekav yourself to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Abay say the greatest dvekus that we could have, the greatest dvekus that we could be misdavik in Hakadosh Baruch Hu's idea is the Toyu is the greatest kiv of us to share it, like like Abchai Velozhina says. As he brings from the Zoya, who misha kor la Toyu Hakadosh Baruch Hu mekar voisi imoy, and he says in Perek Vov as well, Zokter. The greatest of vehicles that we could have with the Rebbeinu Shalom is learning the Rebbeinu Shalom's Torah. That's it. That's that way. Is that true? Eisek Hatoyu Kui Mochem Dvorim is Eisek Hatoyu because that's the way to Satshuva. To be Mekai of ourselves, to be Banisham, and the rest of Kirvo is a Yedei Eisek Hatoyu. For Oi, the Rav Shachayim says even more. Rav Shachayim is Mashmo, he says. Shekol mi she oisik ba toya kilu makiv kol ha karbona she ba oilum of nea karish bochu. Vuloy oid. El sha karish bochu mechap oloy al kol ha vainisov. Umesaktin le kama kisois oilum habo. It's even more than karbona is zokt, zokt in nevashachayim. Kilu makiv kol ha karbona she ba oilum. Vagam al oisan ha avainis chamum she ain ha karbona se mechapin. Those are ones that carbonos are not mechaper. Eisek atoy mechaperes. Eisek atoy is mechaper. Oy bazei, it's not just a stam a dveikus, which is avad a dveikus, but it's even more. It's a mechaper from zechalein. The toy is a mechaper. The toy is mechaper on chatoyim that carbonos cannot be mechaper. Eisek atoy is mechaper. I was thinking that Efshid also the Pshat and the Ramban. 
Avada Ramban hold that's going back on the parashas at Shuvah. However, as the Gemara says, like Vashemayim Vayimayevel Ayomi is referring to Torah. It's Hainu Ha. The Torah that the Kemitzvah Lois is referring to is the Eisek HaTorah that we need for Tshuva. Without the Eisek HaTorah, you can't have the Tshuva. So really, you need to have the Eisek HaTorah. So the Eibishter is telling us, you have the Torah, HaTorah Nostan Lachem, you're right. And Aidei Zed Shaykh for us to be able to have the Avedis HaTshuva. Through the fact that we have the Torah. And it happens to be that punk today I saw the Natsiv, in the Chumash Eimek Learns up the Pasha and Mitzvah is always referring to both Torah and Tshuva. And he says the, the Psukim before were referring to Tshuva and Torah as well. I didn't bring it here with me. But Hitaka learns like that. That it's referring to both. And that's, I mean, that's the Pshat here in the Amban because the Gemara says the Pharisees were talking about Torah. Or the Bazaar said we're talking about the Eisek HaTorah, the greatest Vekas that we have, Takodesh Baruch Hu, is Ayidei. Asik and Amelis and Yagia and Toyo. I want to tell you a Maisa. It's just a Maisa that brings out a point. I had the source of being in Eretz so right before the whole pandemic started. I wasn't in Eretz for 38 years. And Mayor Lachem asked me to come for a day and a half. I went for a day and a half to Eretz to go around and see the Avoid of Lev Lachem. And I'm going to tell you the following story. I went to a house where a younger man was sitting and learning with a group of, I would say they were in their 30s, mid 30s, 40s, about 10 of these men that were sitting and learning Baba Kama and Ba'ovis, and they were learning Meitav at the time, and he asked me to fahar them. My event was not so good, but I tried as much as I can. And the Maisa, they knew the Gemara, Rashi, Toysis, it was not Shaykh. And I went around the table to see who they were. I came to the following person. He was the top soccer player in all of Eretz The top soccer player. And they all, all of them around were talking about him, Amish, like he was, he, could, he, he can't imagine. And he became a Fumiyid, and he was sitting and learning. He was the top soccer player. So I asked him, I said, what's the pshat? He was the most famous throughout Eretz Yisrael. He was wealthy, he had everything he wanted in life. He was married, he had a child. What, did, what happened here? He told me the following. He said, I was world famous. And, he, and this was the Emmas. They couldn't win a game without him. He was the guy. And he said, I wasn't happy. I just wasn't happy. I had everything I wanted in life, and I wasn't happy. And one day my friend tells me, come with me. Come. I said, where are you going? He said, we're going to learn some Gemara. Learn Gemara? What are you? I'm not going. He said, I'm telling you, come. Come with me just one time. And he went to this younger man's house where I, where I was, and he sat and learned for 45 minutes. He sat and learned Gemara for 45 minutes. And he told this to me. I, I, I pushed it, broke out crying. And he said, he walked out of that house, he said it was the happiest moment he ever had in his life. After 45 minutes of learning a Shtigal Gemara, it was the happiest moment in his life. And he said he couldn't have enough of it, he came back the next night and the next night and the next night. And his wife thought he was going crazy. Until, until he became in Gansan of Fumayid. And I told him, I said, what's the pshat? Why? Why does it make you happy? And I said, I want to tell you why. Because of Moshe Chaim Litzate in his Derech Chaim, like Dom Derech Chaim says, that when a person learns Torah, the Torah permeates his neshama. The Torah gets a rain in nishma sa'adim, because the Torah is megin zeim When you learn Torah, it goes a rain into the neshama. And when it goes into the, the neshama, you dovok in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That creates dveikas b'ashem. I said, and when you learned that Gemara for 45 minutes, you were dovok in the Ebishter. There's nothing better in life that makes you happier in life than being dovok with the Ebishter. And that's what happened, Baruch Hashem. And that's why he was zoich l'kach.
I want to tell you something. The community here in Waterbury, when you think about Waterbury, what do you think about? You don't think about community. You think about Torah. The whole community here is based around the yeshiva, the yeshiva gedola. In the world, when you talk about Waterbury, what do you think about? Everyone knows the yeshiva. It's the yeshiva gedola. It's the kolelim. It's the mesiftas. It's the yeshiva Tana, It's toyu. That's what it stands for. That's what Waterbury is. Toyu, toyu, toyu. That's what it stands for. I know by myself. I don't know anything else going on in Waterbay. Everyone knows Waterbay for the yeshiva of Waterbay, for the yeshiva gedola, for the Torah that's being, that's emanating from this mokrim, from this community. State in, 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 in the morale, in the Mishnah in Ovis, where the Mishnah says, Rabbi Nehirai Oimer, have a girdle of mokrim Torah. Zok the morale, it's a different shot, but the last shot he says, what's girdle of mokrim Torah? And he says further, This is a mockum that has to you And I want to explain a little bit. What this means, we all know that when Klai Yisrael was Makabal the Torah, Maimon HaSinai, Shtet Negimor and Shabbos, Vayisyatsvu Betachtis Ahar, HaKadosh Baruch Hu was Kofar Alei Mahor Kegigis. And Hashem said, Em Atam Akalim Mutavim Lav, Shom Tei Kuraschem. And everyone has traces on the Omer Esta Shailo. Why did we need Kofar Alei Mahor Kegigis? Why do we need Kofalem Hokagigis? Tayyus has a pshat, the Medjish and Pashas Nair has a pshat. The morale says the following. The morale has different pshat. The morale in Gur Arye says that Avada Klaius was Makabal Tayyus, the Rots and Gomu. However, Akadish Boko made a Tanai with my separations right here by Boko Yoim Hashishi. The Ebisha made it tonight with my separations. And he said that the whole Bria is mitli toli v'koy of Klai Yisrael with Makabal the Torah. If Klai Yisrael is Makabal the Torah, Mutov, v'im lav yachzal l'soyu v'voyu. So the whole Bria is totally on the Kabbalah of Klai Yisrael. Zok the Maral and Gu'aryeh. That the Ebisha wanted to teach Klai Yisrael a lesson. Avadu yu Makabal the Torah nasev and nishma. But don't think that you would have existed without it. Because if not for the Kabbalah Satir, there would be no Bria. Shom Te'ekhuraskam, Yahzul Sayyid Avoyu. So the Abishta was teaching Klai Yisrael, not because they needed it, was teaching Klai Yisrael Alimud, that the whole Bria is totally on the Kabbalah of Klai Yisrael, the world cannot exist without it. That's in one Mokim. In Teresh Yisrael, he says even tiefer than that. And he says the following. He says that Torah is a hechuch in the Bria. Torah muzayin. It's not just a limo to klai so that you should know. Torah be'etzem cannot be here in the Bria because klai so is makabal the berotzim. Torah muzayin has to be. Torah is a hechuch in the Bria. So the Abishta had to give the Torah to Klai Yisrael Ba'if in Oynes in order that the Torah was here Ba'inus. Because Torah is Mukhuch, Torah Muzayin, Torah has to be here. And therefore, the world could be Niskayim. If it's just totally on the Rotson of Klai Yisrael, that's why the Torah is here. That's not Torah B'Shlei Musa. Torah B'Shlei Musa is only when HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the Torah B'Oif and Hechich and Klai Yisrael's Mechabal Torah B'Oif and Hechich because Torah Muzayin. This whole community here is here because of the Torah. The Torah was the Hechich here to be here in order for there to be a community. And that's why the community exists, and that's why the community is thriving. Because, Baruch Hashem, you have the Koyach HaToyah here. I 
Rabbi Boy I'm talking about making Kabbalahs before Yom Kippur. Kabbalah that's Negea to Limud HaToyo is the greatest Kabbalah of Osushayich. As we see the Eisek HaToyo, that's the Avedis HaTshuva. It's the greatest Kiva that we have to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if we make Kabbalah's Ben Negea, Limud HaToyo, whatever you yourself could do, whatever you yourself feel you're up to. But if you make a Kabbalah Ben Negea, Limud HaToyo, an extra Seder, an extra few minutes, I, I, even a small Kabbalah by the Abish there's a Kabbalah. It doesn't have to be a Mahidah Kabbalah. Anything, any Kabbalah that we do, that we're Kabbalah on ourselves, even something small by the Abish there's a Dov, a Chosh of Adma Oid. For Oid, I want to mention. In the Posig in Akev state, How could you be dovk? If you're dovuk in Talmidim and Chachomim, then Eibishti is machshiv as if you're dovuk in Hakadosh Baruch Hu Alein. The Ramban in Ludov Kaboy explains one of the read the lashon of the Ramban. Be talking, ba'anshe hamayla hazois. Those people that are dovuk in Hakadosh Baruch Hu, which the Ramban explains means that everything that they do is for the Rebbeinu Shem. There's no rotten otherwise besides being mekayim the rotten aboyre. So to these people, it's Yitochim, Sheyi enafshem gam b'chayeihem, Tzrura b'tzrara chayim, Ki heim ba'atzma mo'oyin l'shchino, They are the mo'oyin l'shchino, These people that are dovuk in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boy, so you have here, Tamid Echachomim, Atzumim, Yom Galait, that are sitting and learning, Yom Valayla, Rebbeim, Rosh Hashiva, that are in Gansin, in Gansin, Dovuk, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the more that we can be Mizdavik in them, the more we're Mizdavik in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The more you're Mizdavik in the Rebbeim, in the, in, in the light, and having a Shaykhis, and being Mekabal on yourself to do what has to be done for that purpose. That's Dveikus by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's being Dovuk in the Rebbeim, Shalom Mamish. That's a Lodovka boy. Because they are the more in the Shechina. They are the ones that are Dovuk in HaKadosh Baruch Hu Mamesh HaYedei the Eisek HaToyu. We're living in this man of Chum Beis Hamikdash. We all know the famous Haftoyer of Nachmu Nachmu Ami Yomer Lekechem, the double ocean Nachmu Nachmu Ami. I saw there's a Chumish that has we showing him. Very recently, I saw an old Chumash brings down a number of Rishonim, a Rishonim, a Benu Avigda. And he says the following, What's Nachemu, Nachemu, Ami, Yoyme, Lekechem? Zot Abenu Avigda, that it's referring to the Posik of Matoivu Oyalecha Yaakov, Mishkenesecha Yisro. Matoivu Oyalecha Yaakov, the supporting explains, is going on the bottom of Joshua's. The Ola Yaakov, Yaakov ish tom yoshev e holim, the oil is a mokim of limerat toyer, that's a base medjush. Mishkin Eisecha zok this point is referring to the Botik Nesiyas. And that's what Bolok Bilom wanted to take away from Klal Yisrael. Bilom wanted to be mahapech, that it shouldn't be. And Abish didn't let. 
that the Nachem Nachman was referring to the Botik and Isis and the Botik and Joshes. Dabru a Lev Yushalayim. Dabru Zogte is a lotion of Torah. Lev is the Avodas HaTfilu. Dabru a Lev Yushalayim Zogte. Abeni Avigda is referring to Botik and Isis and Botik and Joshes. And the boys say, the Hezbah Adov is the Ebesh that's being Menachemus. We don't have the base Hamigdosh. The base Hamigdosh was the Mokim that was Dovuk to the Rebbein Shalom. It ain't sure. We have no Shaykhs that are so good what the base Hamigdosh was. The base Hamigdosh was the Lave of Klai Yisrael, Pom Tchiyas and the Klai Yisrael, Baruch Niyas and Begashmiyas. We have no so good the base Hamigdosh. Abba Zok De Eibishta. Nachemu, Nachemu, Ami. Klal Yisrael, you have the ability to be Dovuk in HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the Botek and Yisiyas and through the Botek and Joshes. The Koyach HaToyah and the Koyach HaTfilah. Koyach HaTfilah is Dr. Chaim Vital in our times in Ikhus of the Mashiach. He says, Ikra Avoida Zu Tfilah. Not to take away from Talmud Torah, can I get Kulam? But there's a Bezundra Avoida of Tfilah in the time of, of, of Ikhus of the Mashiach. And that avoid of tefillah is because b'vchiyah voyu v'sachanunu mevileim the ganze geula comes a day the koyach at tefillah b'vchiyah voyu v'sachanunu mevileim shteitin posik. I b'zeir boisai. We have botik and isiyas and botik and joshes. We have the koyach at tefillah. We have the koyach at tefillah to be mizdavik in Hakadosh Baruch Hu. We're holding right before the Yom the Gemara Hadin. In the Zman that the Ebishter has carved himself to us, I didn't share. We have the Avodah Satshuva waiting for us during the Aserah Simei Tshuva for the next two days. But I'm telling you, Rabbi Yisrael says, if we're Makabalah on ourselves, the Kabbalah. A Kabbalah, a Filuk Tan Ad Ma'oid, B'negeya Torah, B'negeya Tfilah, it's Choshev, by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I didn't share. So if you want to know why I started out, that it's a schus for me to be here. That's why it's a schus for me to be here. A mokim that's called kuloi teyer. That's what it stands for. And that's what every, everything surrounds the koil of the yeshiva, the koil of the yeshiva ktana, the, the mesifta. And boy, say so you have a meridik schus of living in such a community. So the Ebesh to help him. That we should be zoichem it's Hashem through our Kabbalists and through our asiyas hatshuva. All of us should be zayichem mitzvah Hashem to a gmach sim etoyv and a good gebens jah and the mitzvah Hashem. This should be the year that we should be zayichem that the binyan beis hamidrash from hayav yameinu.